Hey you guys, this is Mr. Millings and in this video we are going to learn how to calculate delta E or the change in internal energy of a chemical reaction. So let's jump right in and take a look at an example problem. In this example problem it says if three moles of hydrogen gas reacts with three moles of chlorine gas to form HCl according to the chemical reaction equation shown below then we're asked to calculate the work done against a pressure of one atmosphere and 25 degrees Celsius and then we're asked to calculate Delta E for this chemical reaction so we have a chemical reaction here and what this chemical reaction is telling us is that we have one mole of H2 reacting with one mole of Cl2 and this is going to produce two moles of HCl we're also given the heat of reaction the heat of reaction here it tells us is negative 184.6 kilojoules and this negative sign means that energy is released from the chemical reaction into the surroundings anytime delta H is negative that means it's an exothermic chemical reaction and energy in the form of heat is being released by the chemical reaction into the surroundings so if we take a look at this problem we're asked to determine delta E for this chemical reaction equation well we know that delta E is equal to Q plus W so the change in energy or the change in internal energy of a system in this case this chemical reaction is going to be equal to Q which stands for the amount of heat that is released or absorbed during the chemical reaction plus W W here is work and in physics work is defined as force times distance so in order to calculate the change in energy of this chemical reaction we have to figure out two things we have to figure out how much heat was either released or absorbed by the chemical reaction and then we need to figure out how much work was being done uh, by the system or on the system by the surroundings so let's first figure out work and step one here let's first figure out work since in this question here it's asking us to determine the amount of work that's done so in step one we are going to find W or work and so if we take a look at this chemical reaction equation we're dealing with three gases we have three gases in this chemical reaction equation and so whenever we're applying work to a chemical reaction equation like this we can think of work equaling the change in volume multiplied by the pressure so if we think about this what is the change in volume what is the change in volume in this chemical reaction well if we take a look here in our balanced chemical reaction equation we have one mole of hydrogen gas reacting with one mole of chlorine gas and this is going to produce two moles of HCl gas so if we take a look on the reactant side of the chemical reaction equation we have one mole of gas here one mole of gas here that's two moles of gas on the reactant side and we have two moles of gas on the product side so what is the change in volume gonna be well it says here that this is happening at a constant pressure of one atmosphere and 25 degrees Celsius so if we have two moles of gas on the reactant side and we have two moles of gas on the product side here then the change in volume of that gas is going to be zero there is no change because the number of moles is staying the same on the reactant side as the product side so now let's take this to the quantities that are given in the problem we have three moles of hydrogen gas and we have three moles of chlorine gas so again we have the same ratio of hydrogen gas 
to chlorine gas in this problem. There's a one here, there's a one here. Well, if we have three moles of this and three moles of this, this is going to produce six moles of HCl. So, think of it this way. We have six moles of gas over here if we're given three moles of H2 and three moles of Cl2. And we have three moles of H2 and three moles of Cl2. That's six moles of gas over here. So, delta V here, or the change in volume in this chemical reaction given these quantities, is going to be zero. There is no change in volume because there is no change in the number of moles of gas when we look at the reactant side to the product side. So delta V is going to be zero. There is no change in volume here. So to get work, we will simply take the change in volume, which is going to be zero times one atmosphere of pressure, which is going to be equal to zero. There is no work being done. And we'll just go ahead and call this, if we want to include the units, zero joules. So to answer this very first part of the problem, how much work is being done? There's no work being done because the volume is not changing because the number of moles between the reactants and product side of this chemical reaction is not changing. So there's work. We just figured this out. Now we have to figure out Q. So in our second step, we're going to find Q or the amount of heat that is either released or absorbed during this chemical reaction. So let's go ahead and do that. If we take a look here, we are given three moles of hydrogen and three moles of chlorine and this is going to end up producing six moles of HCl. So if we're asked to figure out the amount of heat that is released or absorbed by this chemical reaction, well, we see that two moles of HCl is responsible for this much energy being released, but we've got three times the amount. So to find the heat here, all we need to do is take our three moles of chlorine or our three moles of hydrogen gas and multiply it by this value. So if we simply take three times a negative 184.6 kilojoules, this will give us the amount of energy that is released during this chemical reaction equation. But understand why that is. We see the ratio of hydrogen to chlorine here as one to one. Well, we're just tripling both amounts of reactants here. Therefore, we'll have triple the amount of HCl that is produced and therefore triple the amount of energy that is released. So if we take three times negative 184.6, we'll end up with negative 553.8. kilojoules. So now we have figured out the amount of heat that is released during this chemical reaction given three moles of hydrogen and three moles of chlorine. This much energy right here. We figured out how, how much work has been done. Zero joules which is the same thing as zero kilojoules. And so now to calculate the change in energy in our third and final step, we'll simply take Q plus W, we'll take negative 553.8 kilojoules plus the amount of work, which is zero kilojoules since there was no change in volume, and we will end up with negative 553.8 kilojoules as our final answer. So if three point or if three moles of hydrogen gas reacts with three moles of chlorine gas to form HCl, 
we're asked to determine the change in energy for this chemical reaction looks like it's going to be this much right here the chemical reaction is going to release this much energy into the surroundings if you like what you see go ahead and click that little bomb in the bottom right hand corner and that will subscribe you to my channel and i uh, i hope you guys found this helpful